It's back, it's back, it's back. The Halloween event in Cold War Zombies is back. Now, I can't tell you how excited I am for this. It's been over a year since we've seen this. I didn't think we'd see it again, but if you don't know what this mode is, let me go ahead and hop in and show you. Oh my God, look at them. The jack-o'-lanterns are back. So if you don't know what this Halloween event is, basically it's what you just saw. Uh, all the zombies and elites and everything walk around with jack-o'-lanterns on their heads with a chance to drop one. And in those jack-o'-lanterns, you can get insane rewards. You can get chalices going from bronze all the way to gold, meaning that you can pack a punch your weapon up to like three times, get all three tiers of pack a punch just for killing a zombie. You can get ray guns. You can get wonder weapons like the mass wonder weapon. We can get the crystal axe. And I'm pretty sure you can get like craftables like death machines, airstrikes, things of that nature. But I'm yet to see one drop. There it is. Let's open it. Oh, it's a mimic. So you can get mimics out of it. We got real unlucky with our first one but the rewards in this are so crazy. And about a year ago, the last time we did this, uh, we did a first room challenge on this map. And uh, I got a little excited hopping the game, but that's what we're doing today. We're gonna try to stay in this first room on Forsaken for as long as we can. Uh, I don't know how far I got the last time. Actually, let me go check really quick. All right, I just went back and checked. I made it to round 60, actually. So I'm gonna try to beat that today. Round 60 is crazy for the first room. And the last time we did it, we still had this truck spot. If you guys don't know about the truck spot, zombies should only come in a single file line up to this railing here and climb up. Now they climb up from all edges of the truck. So we need a new strat today. But for my class here, I chose the E-Tool because I think this is going to be a weapon that can one-shot kill basically all the way until whatever round we want to get to as long as we get a Pack-A-Punch. Another Mimic. What are the odds? And for my field upgrade, I'm using Aether Shroud because I feel like I'm going to really need an oh shit button to get out of some situations. But I might end up switching it as we go. But in that pumpkin, we just got level two armor, which is sick, and our Aether Tool. So we already have our E-Tool to gold. Grab our loose change from Death Perception. I think I might want to grab Death Perception right now. I want to try to get as much scrap as I can get or salvage. I always get those two things mixed up. I, I guess they're the same thing. But as we get into these later rounds, we might need to craft a bit, whether that's a uh, self revive to keep it going or if it's like a death machine or literally anything that can just help us survive longer. Let's start a decoy. Everybody on it. One of you need to drop me a jack-o'-lantern that's got a ray gun in it. Please and thank you. Eat a molly too while you're at it. But I can't tell you guys how excited I am to have this mode back. I think I'm going to try to do a first room challenge on every map now. And I'm going to go ahead and put it out there since we made it to 60 on our last attempt on this a whole year ago my goal today is going to be to get to 69 at least and if we can get past that we might be able to get to round 100 but this is going to take a long time so from what i'm seeing so far either they've lowered the drop rate since the last time the event's been out or in the early rounds you don't get as many drops because i could have swore before i've gotten a ray gun round one playing this event maybe i just got really lucky and i'm getting unlucky this time around but not too many crazy drops from what i'm seeing it would really suck if they took this event and they kind of turned it into what the christmas event was the christmas event that they dropped in like what april or something where it's kind of similar to this they had like snow no man heads on i can't i can't exactly remember i didn't play it too much but when i played it the only thing they really dropped was like salvage everybody on the decoy let me see what's in this jack-o-lantern be something good nope it's a mimic again they're screwing me with these drops you know what i'm gonna try out this spot here at spawn on top of this box we'll see if we can handle it okay once zombies start jumping up that's when it kind of gets scary up here It'd be really cool if one of these zombies dropped a jack-o-lantern that had shatter blast in it then we could actually just tear through these rounds i am a little scared we're not gonna get too many drops in this spot because from what i remember at the truck spot when zombies were in a climbing animation they don't really drop anything so the only zombies we'd be able to get drops from are ones that fully jump up so maybe we wait a second before we try out that strat i don't want to miss out on some drops early here no no way i'm already down that is ridiculous it's round 16 this is probably about where i would have went down if we weren't even doing this event so i'm grabbing my self revive back and i think there's an abomination out here so we got to take care of that guy oh we have a jack-o-lantern though let's hit aether shroud open it up what's in it we have a chalice let's go and napalm burst that's gonna help out let's hit the abomination while we can oh no he's so low health come here He's one shot, weak, weak, weak on me. All right, we slapped them. So it's not looking good that we already had to buy our first self revive, but I'm just gonna put that as I'm warming up. I'm just getting warmed up over here. What's in this one? 
Ooh, a silver chalice. Oh, we already have pack a punch two. They didn't even give us pack a punch one. We just skipped right to two. I didn't even notice that. You know what? Let's just start using these things that they drop. Let's use a deagle a little bit. Nice little hand cannon on them. And now let's scoop the flamethrower. Cook some zombies. Get them well done. What's in these jack o' lanterns? What do they got for me? Gold armor and a mimic. That's not good. I mean, the armor is fine. The mimic was kind of scary. I'm throwing down the sentry turret just because. Let's stun the zombies. Let the sentry go to work. Oh, and I'm down again, I think. Oh, no way that tormentor just saved me. I might be down here, though. I'm fighting my way out. How am I not taking damage? Is it that melee boost where you get health back? That's crazy. No way I survived that. Okay. I'm actually not surviving now. All right. Well, I don't know why, but the nature in me wants to go and sit in that corner over there. I'm just a camper at heart. I got to realize that that spot is not safe. Let's try to grab a self-revive back. I can't afford one. All right. So we're in sudden death right now. That's fun. Not scared at all. But what I do have is a discount monkey bomb. There goes the decoy. There goes the C4. Y'all enjoy that. Not a single... Ugh. Can't believe they didn't give me any jack-o'-lanterns for that. Let's try that again. On the decoy. On the C4. And I'll see you guys next time. I hit him with the outro. Oh, Abomination spawning in. He does a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and Aether Shroud on him. We need to take this guy out immediately. There we go. Surprised the Abominations don't have the jack o on them. They could have all three of them. What we got in this? Another Mimic? Damn. They're dropping me nothing but Mimics. All right, I have enough to get my self-revive back, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Our second self-revive of the day. That cost only goes up every time we get it. I really need to get my downs to a minimum here. I say as I run into a big horde of zombies. I'm not the smartest man. But even crazier combo right here. Watch this. Decoy. Molotov. Easy kills. What did I get there? Is that the Crystal Axe? Hold on. Let me Aether Shroud. It is the Crystal Axe. Let's go. Got our first wonder weapon of the day. Does this thing still one shot? It looks like it. I think this is probably one shot until like round 30 something. Even while packed three. So not the greatest thing we could have got, but at least it's another weapon. It definitely has a wider range to kill than the E-Tool. So I'm going to use this for a bit. All right. Give me a chalice, please. Nope. That's a mimic. Get the fuck out of here, mimic. Oh, this thing does not kill mimics very fast. Gets the zombies real fast. Not the elites. Oh, there's an abomination too. You know what? Let me try the RCXD on him. I can't deploy it up here. Never mind. Let me Aether Shroud. Gotta get the E tool back out for the Abomination. See you later. No way you're not dead. Thank you. Oh, what is that? Did I get a chalice? Oh, it's a gold chalice. Oh, uh, let's give it on the, the Crystal Axe for now. That way I can just plow through a, the next few rounds with this thing. And then the next golden chalice we get is going into the E-Tool. Oh, yeah. This thing's busted early rounds. Zombies have no hope. Another gold chalice, please. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Let's see how long I can survive up here. Just swinging this bad boy. Go ahead and try me, Mangler. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's so many jack o I just got to open these. I can't just leave them there. Ooh, the combat bow? That's crazy. That thing one-hit melee kills damn near everything in this game. So having that around, insanely good luck. I wish the Crystal Axe still one-shot, like, in higher rounds. The absolute, like, whiff that this thing swings at is insane. Any zombie that jumps up here is getting fucked up. But we only have, like, three more rounds of it, so we gotta enjoy it while we can. Oh, did they finally drop the ray gun? Let's go. I don't know if I want to pick that up yet. I want to keep using the Crystal Axe till I absolutely can't. So hopefully we get another Ray Gun drop after that. But it took until round 29 to get it. It's so tempting to pick up though. You don't see Ray Gun drops a whole lot. This mode desensitizes you to it. Oh, there's a Gold Chalice. And Shatter Blast. Is that Shatter Blast? No way. Hold on. I'm going to have to Aether Shroud up here. We're putting Shatter Blast on this right now. Give me that. I also never got Death Perception back. I think I might want to get that. Uh-oh. I don't think this is one shot in zombies anymore. We hit our peak. Okay, let's grab our Ray Gun then. And let's grab the Gold Chalice. And let's Aether Shroud out of here. Please let me get Death Perception. There we go. All right. We have a pack three Ray Gun now. And this thing doesn't even one-shot zombies. I guess we can go back to trying our strat, but I don't know how much longer this is going to work for. Unless we shatter blast. Okay, no, it's not working anymore. The ray gun just feels so weak. This feels like it does nothing. I actually might be better off with the crystal axe right now. I'm picking that back up. Oh, no, the zombies are like three-shot kills. This can't be happening. I'm out of here. 
Four health is what I Aether shot it away with. Oh, man. We are in a tough spot. It's crazy the second we hit that drop-off round how much more difficult it gets. I'm going to have to abuse the hell out of Shatter Blast on this E-Tool now. And this is exactly how we're going to do it. Get them all trained up. Throw it on a decoy even. Get them all together. And then we walk up and Shatter Blast them. There goes that whole group. No way I just went down there. All right, well, good news is we don't really lose a whole lot. And I have... 1,350 blue scraps. So let me just crawl my way over to this crafting table and we'll take care of that. All right, we hit the self revive. We only have a few seconds to do this. Got it. So that's three self revives we've had to get so far. The worst and best thing about doing this challenge on this map is that the rounds don't really stop. It's like a rampage inducer light. The zombies are always coming, which is nice because you get through the rounds faster, but then you don't have any downtime in between rounds to like buy armor, get whatever supplies you need, like re-up. It's pretty difficult. Oh, they got scare packages too. I forgot about that. Let me Aether Shroud and grab this. What we got in it? Oh, basically a whole lot of the same, but let me grab this cruise missile and let's take out a bunch of these guys. Cruise missile not usable. Oh, that almost got me killed. It was probably because I was jumping when I started it up, but that was scary. Oh, is that a nuke? No way. We get a nice little breather. Whew, this is stressful. I'm just running in circles hoping that nades fall because it's difficult to get in there with the E-tool. They immediately like break your armor. But if I do end up getting in, that Shatter Blast is a savior. And we're barely over halfway to where I want to be. This is tough. That's what I'm talking about with the combat bow. Literally one shots everything. That Disciple's done in a second. Yep, there it goes. This thing is so crazy good just meleeing. This is a strat I used for the Onslaught round 100. The Onslaught Elite round 100. Literally just wait for an Elite to show up. Hit him with a quick melee. Oh no, I'm missing him. You know, maybe I'll just shoot that one. But the fire damage is so good. Everything that's not a one shot is probably a two shot. Wow, you hear that? Peace. Absolutely nothing happening right now. And now it's round 40. Peace is over. Peace has ended. We're 20 rounds away from where I want to be. Oh, we got a death machine on the ground. Give me that. Zombies, see you later. This thing is nasty. This is where we can actually use this corner. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Maybe I should get more of those. How much blue scrap do we have? 2,000. We can afford a little bit. We can lose a little bit. Let me eight the shot out of here. And let me grab one. Oh, shit. What's going on, Abomination? Nice to see you. But I'm not going in that corner until I have an Aether Shroud, which needs to be right now. Oh, wait, no. There's insta-kill going on right now. I can't even get field upgrade progress. Gotta wait for it to expire. There we go. And now I need to somehow get a kill here. Okay, there's a C4. E the C4. Perfect. Now let's try this again. Come on, Death Machine, carry me. Oh, not the abomination right in my face. I'm out of here. See ya. Actually, you know what? Right back in your face, pal. Eat it. Fuck off. There we go, got him. How much ammo do we have in this thing? Enough. Let's get back to it. This might be the way. Might have to pull out the insomnia virus strat. You guys don't know what that is? Basically, Aether Shroud through there. Come over here, scoop up a death machine, and head on back. Insomnia virus is an insanely talented zombies player. Dude's nutty. He's been getting like round 100 on every BO3 map, buddy. I think he holds the record for the first room challenge on this map. Where he got to 935 pulling out this strat. Where he just death machines, aether shrouds, grabs another one, and death machines again. So insomnia, this one's for you, buddy. They're cheap, too. Only 100 scrap out of the 2,000 that we got. You can make this strat work for a minute. Knock on wood. You guys have to knock on wood for me right now. My hands are kind of preoccupied. If you don't knock on wood and I die, it's your fault. Oh, shoot faster! Oh, fuck. That got close. Kind of sounded like I just cummed. No, put me down. Ooh, actually, pull me into the nuke. That works. Fucking idiot mimic. That was planned all along. Oh, the abomination just takes so much damage. Holy shit. That was like eight swings of this thing, and he barely took any damage. Dude's a tank. Once the abomination shows up, kind of pokes a hole in my whole plan. Because this dude is not easy to kill at all. And I have to keep using my aether shrouds just to survive. Oh, fuck me, dude. Let me out of here. No! No! All right, well, we went down again. Let me try to at least do some damage to these guys. That's what's nice about the ray gun. So I can still use it on the ground. So let me self-revive here and go grab another one. I think we're on self-revive number like five now. There we go. Got it back pretty easily. Might lose it just as easily, especially without fucking armor. And I see an armor drop on the ground. I just can't get to it. Let me hop over this. Hit him with a stun. 
That worked. We got our armor. Okay, I finally have another Aether Shroud. Let's use it. Where's that abomination at? Come down here. I need you to leave right now. You're fucking up the whole thing. Okay, now you're gonna fuck me up. Oh no, six health. Shit. No! Oh, that disciple barely sat me. Can I at least take out the abomination while I'm on the ground? Oh, I did it. Let's go. All right, our strat might be good now. Damn, that took forever. I was literally just running in circles, just trying to get like a Semtex or something so I can get an Aether Shroud and do damage to him. But it's finally over until the next time one spawns. Well, that really cuts into our uh, blue salvage supply. Good thing there's still a bunch on the ground. But we can go back to the nitty gritty of just destroying with this death machine. It's so crazy how in a game of zombies, one thing can change and then your whole strat goes out the window. You gotta improvise, adapt, and overcome. Oh, chopper gunner? Let me pick it up. Let me use it. This gives me a nice little break. Just gonna tear through zombies from up here. This thing is loud. Holy shit. We're starting to get low on the blue scrap. We're at 1,500 now. We started at like 2,000 something. I need to make sure I'm going through and I'm scooping all of it up off the ground. But we should be able to get through at least the next 10 rounds, I think, pretty easily. Knock on wood, though. There could be, like, five abominations in that time period. But we made it to round 50, halfway to 100, and only 10 away from our record. My personal record. Oh, there's the abomination. What's going on, buddy? Let me Aether Shroud on you. Please just die and leave. Come on, I'm hitting you in the mouth. Okay, he's very low health. This one might be a lot easier to deal with than the last. I was more prepared this time. Okay, throw down the decoy. Throw down the C4. Give me another Aether Shroud. Ooh, close. Let's do that again. Okay, now I have one. Let's Aether Shroud. Where's the Abomination? Get the fuck out of here. We killed him. Perfect. We're good. Should probably wait till I have another Aether Shroud, though, before I go back at it. Okay, well, let me just go down anyways. Just for fun, I guess. So that fucking sucks. We're at round 52. I gotta crawl as close to this crafting table as I can. All right, let's stick the self-revive. Sprint over here, grab another self revive, and we're out. All right, we might just have to death machine this out. I don't have that much ammo for it, but this is gonna get me enough for our uh, Aether Shroud. That's what we really need. Okay, there we go, Aether Shroud. Woo, 60 health. Buy the armor back, buy the death machine, we're back in business. Insta kills are such a death sentence in this mode. Not being able to get progress towards my Aether Shroud is just begging to die. I just have to wander around until this thing's gone. Holy shit. I gotta be really careful not to touch those. No way! How did I go down there? I think maybe the Tempest hit me at the same time a zombie hit me and it just snapped my armor and my health. Kind of whack if you ask me. Oh, great. And there's an abomination here. Let's get some swings on him while the nuke's going off. Oh, shit. I should probably prioritize getting my self-revive back. There we go. Let me use the rest of this death machine on him. Oh, that does nothing. And he already downed me again? Holy shit. Oh, that's not good at all. I only have 220 blue scrap. So not only can I not use my death machine strat, I might not be able to buy a self-revive. Actually, I know for sure I can't. Because it's 250 to start. I bought like five or six of them bad boys. And every time you get a self-revive, the price of them goes up. I'm dead here. I think I'm sleep. Might have to just use this. Okay, Aether Shroud, Aether Shroud, Aether Shroud. We gotta get this abomination out of here if we want any chance of surviving this. Oh my god, I got him, I got him, holy shit. No! Pull me 53 rounds? No! Oh, well we had 4,000 kills, 484 crits, 0 vibes, and 9 downs. I did even better a year ago than I did today. But we did at least get close to it, so I'm not too mad about it. That was just really unfortunate going right down after buying my self-revive back. Uh, that just sucked. But anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Let me know what map you want to see me do this on next. Uh, if you want me to try Forsaken again and try to beat my record, I'm down for that too. But if you like this, you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike if you're new here. Please consider subscribing and put all kinds of high content throughout the week. If you want to follow me outside of YouTube, links to my Twitter and my Instagram are down below as well as a link to my Discord if you want to go ahead and join that. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.